Hello, my continuously creative friends. It is our second week of Safe at Home Orders, and it's two o'clock. And we're here, Facebook Live on Donna's Design Threads. I'm really excited that you've joined me again. And I got some kind of sad news this yes, yesterday. I got an email from the competition committee that Weld County, the uh, county fair, has canceled all of their open um, competitions at the county fair this year. So I'm kind of imagining that probably more of the county fairs uh, will probably end up being the same thing. So I'm kind of, I mean, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. But it is kind of sad to think about um, just things not being the normal way that they usually are in our lives. So there's a lot of a lot of that going around. I know all of us have experienced that and we have to just kind of figure out what the normal is for right now. And um, I just thought about what can I do? What do I need to do to make the most of this time? And one of the things that I thought of also, oh, another uh, interesting thing I found out this week is our show that was scheduled to happen in the end of March at the Merchandise Mart, the craft quilt and sew show, whatever. That one that we do every year got postponed until June. And then I got another email saying now it's been postponed till August. So lots of changes, lots of things not um, going on the way that we, we would hope. So sad. But like I said, I'm trying to figure out what can I do now? What kind of things can I do to maybe prepare for when things get back on track and all that kind of stuff? And so I got to thinking about remaking some of my quilt patterns with new and different fabrics. So this morning when I woke up, I thought about that and I thought about pulling out some of my fabric and that gave me a great idea of something to talk about this afternoon with you guys. And that is kind of what is the process I go through. Um, I know you all, you have seen a lot of fabric that I have stashed away and um, I've collected and now's a great time to use a lot of that, right? Uh, so when I decide that I want to make a new quilt, I'll see a pattern that I like, or like I said, in this instance, I want to redo some of my samples that we take to the shows and hang in the booth because I've had a lot of the ones that I have, I've had for quite a while and maybe it's that I could use some of this downtime to redo some of those and kind of spice it up a bit. So I don't know how you are able to store the samples or the uh, fabrics that you collect at your house. I have a couple of different methods that I do. One is, you know, if you buy a whole bundle of fabric that is a whole stack and they all match and they all go together, those fat quarter bundles, or as we talked about before, the charm packs, the layer cakes, the jelly rolls, those pre-cut lines of fabric that they all match and everything looks great together. And you know, you can make a quilt with those and it's always going to look good. Um, so those usually, sometimes I just see those and they're just such eye candy and I just have to have them because maybe I want to decorate with just the bundle, <laughs> not even make a quilt. I've been known to do that. But um, I really enjoy the process of picking out maybe one of my favorite fabrics that might have a lot of different colors in it and then pulling different things in to match that or go with that. Or sometimes I'll call that one particular fabric. I'll call that my inspiration fabric. And then um, maybe pull out some of the colors that are in that fabric. If it's a floral, you know, what are the different colors in the floral pattern that would go with it? Um, that's a really great way to come up with a color palette because honestly, well, I think some people have a really good eye for color and automatically they can pull a bunch of fabrics together and colors together and they go and it just looks great. And other people really struggle with that. And that is, it's like, 
paralyzing to think about having to be the one to choose those fabrics and make sure that they all go together and look nice together. So I'm going to show you kind of some of my process that I go through for that. And then um, I think next week that we might delve a little bit more into actual some color theory kind of things and why certain colors go together and certain colors clash and why sometimes you might think those colors look really good together, but when you get them all put together in your quilt, you're not happy with the quilt. Was there some kind of um, some kind of clashing or something going on that you were unaware of when the fabrics were all next to each other that once they're all put in the quilt, it just didn't quite work out um, about as far. And also with like value of fabric color of the like the like how bright and intense it is or if it's more dull. So we'll we'll dive a little bit more into that um, next week on our Facebook Live. But this week. So what I decided, since I decided I'm going to make a new quilt, I'll show you which one I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do this quilt, redo the sample for this quilt called Let's Be Friends. And the reason that it's called Let's Be Friends is because I love friends, <laughs> all my friends. And the other reason is because this block is called a friendship star. And it's a very simple um, square with half square triangles. So you'll get, we'll get to practice using our um, half square triangle techniques that we've been working on. And then um, just some solid blocks around it. And the really fun thing about this quilt is the background is, is scrappy as well. You could do it with a solid, but a scrappy background really adds a lot of um, interest and, and fun stuff to this quilt. So I have been collecting any, anytime, this is a good rule of thumb too, when you're out at the stores and you're shopping and you like kind of want to add to your stash, always be on the lookout for fun background fabrics. And just, if you see a fun one, get a fat quarter of it, pile them up because you can never have enough background fabrics. Oh, Cindy's on here watching. Hi, hi my Cindy. And so we... I'll have to show you my little collection here of these are my some of my background fabrics. Let's see. There we go. So I have a whole bin full of them. And I'll pull them up some. Here's just really fun. Some of them have more print in the background than others. Some of them are real, real light, white. Some of them a creamy background, but when you get them all together and kind of scrappy them up, it's really fun. So these fabrics, these background fabrics that have like little prints and stuff on them, those are called low volume fabrics. So you want to have a really good collection of low volume fabrics in your stash because that is really fun to pull from. So that's, those will be fun to go through and pick for those. So that's what's in the background of this quilt is all of those. Oh, and by the way, if you want to do this along with me, um, I'll kind of show you the process, uh, progress each week and stuff. And you could make this with me too, if you want the friendship, let's be friends with these friendship stars and practice those half square triangles that we worked on the last couple weeks ago. So each star is a different background fabric. And this was the original fabric that I picked out that I wanted to be my focus fabric. Look how fun that is. I love the fuchsia background, the hot pink flowers. And one of my favorite colors right now is that fun greeny gold and the turquoise in there. So just a lot of fun. So I went through a bunch of my different fat quarters and pulled out a bunch of different colors and schemes and stuff that would pull in, pull colors from here. So I've got that greeny, that kind of yellowy, greeny gold color in there, some blues, some turquoises in there, some of the lighter pinks even. And I just think that is going to be really super fun. So be watching for that. I'll keep working on that. And next week again, 
Like I said, we're going to talk more about actual color theory and um, ways that you can pick out fabrics and colors to go together that are pleasing to the eye because there really is a bit of science to it, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, and if you want to make this quilt with me too, with making the friendship stars, um, we can, let's be friends. You can find this on my website and we extended our shelter um, sale, the 20% off through the 8th, which is Friday. So you can get the pattern 20% off or 25. I can't even remember now. 20, it's 20% off. Um, and you can uh, right away download it, look it out, read the directions, start picking out some just really fun colors out of your stash. You don't need very much. Um, each star, there's 42 stars. So I picked out 42 fabrics and you just need uh, two four inch squares and a three and a half inch square for this for each star so it can really be scrappy and fun and make those stars that fabric has to all be the same and then like i said we can scrap up the background or you can use all one solid background and that that would be fun too and in also in the meantime you can look up on the internet what a color wheel is so that you can be kind of familiar with that because we're going to talk about that more next week the color wheel and the different um colors that go to, with each other and ones that kind of clash. So that'll be fun, something to look forward to. And I hope you guys are staying safe and being well and being continuously creative. And I'll see you next Wednesday at two o'clock on Donna's Design Threads. Bye.